Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting coming out of Hammond, Louisiana. Today we are working just a few miles from our hometown. What you see here is a church steeple. Um, I, I wanted to show y'all so desperately how we cleaned this. Um, but to be honest with you, once we got everything set up and the ropes tied up and started scaling up there, I just couldn't, um, I couldn't manage holding a cell phone and I really need to get a, um, maybe a camera on a tripod at some point. I was actually going to have one of the other guys hold it, but we had a guy out that day. And um, so the other guy had to do a uh, managing the machine as we were up there. But ironically, we just noticed a little section on the other side of that steeple that we're going to catch later on today. Um, so I'm going to show you um, how we do it. So y'all may get to see some of it. And it's not going to be a full-blown steeple cleaning, but it'll show you about how we do it and kind of give you an idea. That steeple from the ground to the tip of it, um, so they say it's about 68 feet. So obviously we weren't able to downstream that from the ground uh, or apply our soaps in any kind of way uh, from the ground level. So we had to come up with another alternative, and it worked out great. Like I said, I'll kind of go into that in a little bit. I'll probably just make a whole new video for it. So uh, if you want to, be sure to see that. Because um, I know there's a lot of church steeples out there and it pays really, really good. There's not too many people want to fool with it. Uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel. They tell me um, that the YouTube actually called me. I spoke to YouTube on the phone. Um, they said that I need to tell people to hit the bell button. I'm not all that too familiar with it, so I guess it notifies you directly when I upload a video. So if y'all want to be sure not to miss that, do uh, do the subscription and the bell notification, and I'll definitely show you that today. It is very loud out here, so um, I'm gonna try to give you a little scope of what we're doing. We got one guy starting cleaning here with a. Um, I think that's that 20 inch whirl away. And we got both machines running. Got another guy doing some down, uh, where well he did his downstream. Now he's just going back to power rinsing. And uh, a lot of folks wanted to see the actual way that we pressure wash, if you will, quote unquote. It's, it's um, not actual power washing, but it's just more like a power rinse. So I'll show y'all a little bit of that here in a second. Get down here. So we're doing all of this uh, walkway, all these wall areas. When it comes to doing this brickwork, you will have to take care of some dirt divers' nests. Most of the time, they within three or four or five feet from the ceiling line. But, like I said, that's most of the time. I very rarely find them lower unless it's underneath a window seal where they got a brick ledge. But that being said, they can form anywhere. But the large majority of them will be up high from, from our experience. Some of them can be very difficult to remove because, depending on the area that you live in because um, those little bugs, they uh, go dig up dirt and you know if you're in a high uh, clay area where there's a lot of red clay and they can be hard to remove so you need it either pressure or flow to remove those we elect to use flow because we don't want to put too much pressure on these mortar joints this is a fairly old building too so that's one thing we don't want to fool with if we don't have to so we did did this side we checked the gutters um, they were, had some debris in them. We're doing, of course, all the sidewalks as well. I'll show you all this side. This is a north end, so usually these north ends get the worst. And back talking about that steeple, on this side, I can see a little bit at the very tip top that I'm not so happy with. I probably could leave it. I don't even know if you could see it from this angle. It's actually so bright out here. 
I almost can't see the cell phone, so you know the screen on it. But I think I'm pointing in the general direction. But what I'm not so excited about that very one or two feet at the very tip, I probably could leave it. But uh, I'm definitely going to try to re soap it a little bit later today and see if I can not get it to brighten up a little bit more. <clears throat> now, this is, um, we're doing a little concrete right here just because of hose length and I didn't want to have both guys over here at the same time. So this is what we could pressure wash concrete with when you have a high flow machine. Of course, they rate it at eight gallons per minute. Um, I have tested it several times with a J-Rod tip in it. And I think I'm putting out about 10 to 12, depending on if we got a half inch hose on it or just 3 8. Now that tip, you can run it across your foot, it ain't gonna hurt you. Um, you pretty much wash your face with it if you're a couple feet away from it. So it just doesn't have very much pressure. It's a lot of flow. Usually we would run the surface cleaner on this, but like I said, if I have two guys out here getting all tangled up, I just have this guy catching this. He's also catching these wall areas with that stain tip or either um, kind of a straight stream. I'm going to show you all that in a second. Hey, Chris, yeah. could you put that uh, the fat straight stream on there? And I want you to kind of hit this wall area like it. You don't wash this, so go ahead and hit that a little bit. You just want to do a demonstration. See, it's a real soft spray. Um, that same tip we would apply soap with. And you can come back and power around. I want to demonstrate. Spray it out here to the side. I'm going to put my hand in it. I don't know, it's a little sting, but it's not much. But it's really the flow. But it's not, not bad at all. You know, you're not gonna damage your window with it or, you know, break anything with it. Maybe a wind chime, you probably wanna back off a wind chime, but that's within a few feet of the nozzle. So you can imagine once you get 10 or 12 feet away from it, it gets much less of an impact to the siding. So that's pretty much how we do the, the power rinsing, um, or, you know, some people say, um, like our name says, they get some pressure wash and painting, but it's really no longer a pressure wash. Um, back in the old days, yes, we had to use pressure. Uh, now, with the inventions of the high flow machines and the down, uh, phenomenal downstream injectors and soft wash systems, it's no more of a pressure wash. So if you have anybody ever ask you about that, you, know, you can tell them, hey, that's the terminology we use, power wash, pressure wash, but actually, it's neither of those other than a little pressure on the sidewalks or the little, little pressure on the brick. But other than that, everything is just almost like a shower head. So, so we're gonna be doing all of this. This is a pretty decent sized church campus. We do them. We've done it many times before. We also do the parking lot striping, um, pothole repairs, anything that came, comes up, we just try to take care of it. And, um, you know, they treat us well. Uh, as far as pricing goes, sometimes I get people asking me on churches, is it considered commercial? And it's a yes and no answer to that. Um, obviously, it's large commercial like but then again it is a church as well and you know they are a non-profit so we do keep that in mind um, so you know we try to hold down the price as much as possible obviously we still have to pay the guys um, we're still required to have all the workers comp general liability and commercial auto so you know it has a flavor of commercial pricing to it you know, it's definitely more than what residential is. But, the, you know, that being said, I know um, nonprofit, you got church members giving their hard-earned money to support the church. 
So you want to be respectful for that. Um, it's different if you have a shopping mall that's making millions of dollars per month. And that's an underestimation. You know, usually some very large shopping malls make tens of millions per month. On those cases, you know, it's, um, it's the going rate. It's the market rate. You know, no discounts. Um, obviously, we want to be competitive, but... You know what I'm saying, you know, with a church. And I don't know if you, you know, I, I wouldn't call myself a super religious guy, but I am a believer, so I want to be respectful to, to their budgets and things like that. They're good people as well, so that goes a long way. But uh, any uh, thing that y'all need to reach out with me on, um, talk to me personally about, um, my phone number is 985-345-0778. And I know there was a couple guys that got contacted me last week, and I haven't got back to them yet. Um, for some reason, I, I got this new phone a couple months, well, about a month ago, month and a half ago. And my text messages delete themselves after a certain t amount of time passes. So I need to go in there and figure out what's going on with that. So sometimes I'll lose a message or get mixed up with someone else. but. If you haven't gotten in touch with me, don't give up. Keep trying. You know, call me two or three times. Text me two or three times. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to get aggravated. Um, be persistent. You know, they say the squeaky wheel gets oil. But I literally talk to about seven or eight people a day. Um, sometimes I'll spend an hour on the phone in the afternoon. Sometimes it's just a two or three minute phone call, depending on what their needs are. So I'll get to you one way or the other. But y'all um, definitely been watching the videos. I've been seeing the views going way up. Thousands of views every video. It really makes me happy I can help someone else. Like I said, if y'all need anything, reach out to me. I'll be, I'll be here to help in any way I can. And I'll show y'all that, um, that church steeple in another separate video. Um, I'll probably title it uh, High Church Steeple or something like that. So y'all can be on the lookout for that. And I'll talk to y'all soon.